Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jan Moses, currently live streaming here on YouTube and wanted to go over the stealth mode agendas that we're getting today uh, that will net us four stealth mode deluxe packs. And in case you're wondering, how do I know it's four? We're gonna get one for completing all nine of these agendas right here. And then upon completing each of these individual agendas, you're gonna get a stealth mode deluxe pack shattered prize piece. Three of these prize pieces will get you an additional deluxe pack. And because we have nine, you'll get one deluxe pack from completing these three, another one from completing these three, and then another one from completing these three. And obviously you, you can mix and match these in any way that you want. But the point is once you complete all nine, you're gonna get three deluxe packs from getting these done. And then when you complete all of them, that'll be your fourth one right here. Now, the reason why I'm not all that excited about getting four deluxe packs is because of the 22 cards that we have, eight of them you're not gonna get. And those are gonna be the three pink diamonds and the five diamonds that we saw in the graphic that dropped on Twitter last night, or I guess yesterday in the afternoon, depending on where you live. Um, outside of that, we have 14 other cards. And of those 14 other cards, um, five of them, I believe are gold. And four of them are going to be sapphire. I'm going to confirm in my notes. Yeah, five golds and four emeralds. I apologize, not sapphire. It's five golds, four emeralds, two sapphires, two rubies, one amethyst, five diamonds, and three pink diamonds. So, yeah, you're going to more than likely end up getting a gold or an emerald out of your deluxe packs. Now, these agendas don't look all that bad. We can go over them right now. Um, you need to have one steal in at least three games. So you have to play at least three games. You can't get three steals and have this agenda be checked off. Um, same kind of vibe with this agenda where you need to make one four pointer two separate times, you know? So, you know, don't go into a clutch time game trying to get more than one four pointer. Um, it's not gonna count. You're only gonna have one of those four pointers count. You'll need to play a second game. For 250 points over multiple games, you'll get this done naturally. 25 layups over multiple games. You can also get this one done naturally. Win five games in a row. Uh, by the way, if I've not mentioned this in previous videos, I think your best bet for getting these agendas done uh, will be to play Breakout on Rookie Difficulty. Um, score 100 points with original owner stealth mode players over multiple games. So once you get three of these agendas done, you'll be able to work towards getting this agenda done. What I would say is try to get three of these agendas done as quickly as possible because if you need 100 points with original owner stealth mode players it would be really nice if you could double dip the chip getting this done while you're making progress towards this and depending on who you get if you can get layups with that player then you're able to get this agenda done or at least make progress towards this agenda while you're doing this one while you're grinding towards this one so yeah try to stack them as much as you can and then these are all going to be um, uh, agendas that you have to get completed in their own respective challenge games. Uh, so you need to score 70 points as a team and you need to have two Suns players in your lineup. You need to block three shots as a team for the David Robinson one. That one sounds harder than it actually is. I would say if you don't off ball with your center uh, against the CPU, you can try to do that uh, in this challenge and that may help you. Um, and then uh, last but not least, you need to make five three-pointers with a player against uh, the 84 Nets in clutch time. That really should not be all that hard. This is probably the easiest one. So if I had to pick the three agendas that I would try to do uh, off the bat uh, to try to get uh, that original owner stealth mode player the soonest, I'd probably try for the four-pointer one because this one should not take that long. Um, and then honestly, I would say four-pointer uh, maybe you, you can try to grab one steal in a game three times and then uh, this one should not be all that hard to do That's what I would go with and I think you'll be you'll be able to get your original owner stealth mode player the first one at least um, Pretty quickly So yeah, and it looks like that's all we have. I see um, I cannot pronounce that name ESNS in chat says any hidden gems challenge does not look like that is the case um, the only hidden gems challenge we have is this week five agenda set where if you complete all of them, including part three, you'll get a hidden gems card that will more than likely be a gold. I don't see anything else. Maybe 2k will drop something tomorrow, but I don't think we're going to see anything else content wise until next week. And I hesitate to even call this content 
uh, but we're going to be getting, in all likelihood, Super Packs dropping on Monday. I put out a video on Super Packs about a day or two ago. I think it was two days ago I put out that video. Maybe, I mean, maybe it was yesterday. Honestly, I forget. I recorded two videos on Tuesday. forgot which video came out when. But I did cover a video at least one day ago talking about the Super Packs and how it could affect the auction house, when the best time could be to buy those top-end players that you've been waiting to buy, and maybe when's a good time to buy some budget players. Like, I was talking to Harry about this yesterday. If you're someone that wants to get that Ruby Ray Allen and you don't want to spend, I don't know what he's going for now, but at the time when he came out, he was going for 25 to 30K. If you want to maybe try to get that Ray Allen card for 10 to 15K, maybe even less, I, I, I talked about when to get him in that video too. So go and check that video out. Uh, let me know if you found this video helpful. Good luck on your grind. I hope that you guys get cards that are in higher tiers than, you know, Sapphire out of your deluxe pack. I just fully expect to get gold and emeralds only. Um, and that's pretty sad when I know people that are the money spenders and the empty buyers are going to be parading around with their diamonds and their pink diamonds. So, yeah, what a time to be alive here in NBA 2K25, my team. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the support on the channel. If you're watching this video, I'm probably still live on stream, so come hang out if you want while I grind out these agendas, and we'll see what we get out of our deluxe packs. Until then, though, take care, and I'll see you later.